In the 9th century, Nazi settlers crossed the sea to settle the uninhabited wilds of Iceland. Some found success in their new home, while others succumbed to the punishing winter. Their fates were recorded for history in the pages of the great book of Iceland. Man. Iceland is quite nice and easy to live in. Greenland is the shitty one. Landenamba. That's the name of the book. These Saxon houses, man, this Saxon hall looks so nice. The Viking aesthetic is so good, even though the mythology is so sharp. <laughs> I just opened the game to test and to fix the the recording thing, you know, and there was a message here about some settlement in Saga, but it disappeared. Loss. Plus one half winters two per year. Hagalas, Hagalas. It's all the same shit, man. It takes two more lives. Ouch in hell, the infest settlement of the saga. I don't even know what that is. Costs much to be great. Takes one vest, a very visitor. Saga ends after one settlement of fails. Which see if this looks like very badly made shit. So let's go with normal. Choose a clan. Here, there is some some progress bar here. There was two bars before. They had to click in order to close the game. <laughs> Now choose a clan. If the settlement fails, this clan will be unavailable for the rest of the saga. If three settlement fails, the saga ends. There are some settlements. No strength and no weakness. In Ingolfar. The steady. Good at most things without any particular skills of renown. They are known for their even new and dependability. No surprises can be good when it comes to matter of survival. Sivijur, the collectors. Has more left, but less one explorer. More help. More paths. And hurry and expand and expand the settlements, they move slowly with careful intention, but their planning creates great potential for accumulating wealth. Helga the Bass. A conservative clan who prioritizes saving. They don't spend frivolously, but neglecting investment in the agriculture can be detrimental over time. Plus 5 at the start of every settlement. Miners want a harvest from pasture. Like, in 5 pastures, I will break even. In more, I will start to lose. Oligar, the explorers, particularly adapt the ability to traverse new lands. They are a clan of the wilds, unaccustomed to domestic life, they are less at home when constructing one. Cost is more to construct and cost is less to explore. Seems nice. Snorri the Builders. A clan and offer a physical strength dependable buildings through extracraft men, they hardly look all, all outwards in such fun explanatory adventure. It's less expensive to construct, but it takes more time exploring. Like the contrary of these guys. Thor the Gardeners. A careful and seduced clan who takes their time getting to know the land. In doing so, they reap the rewards that come with truly understand its value. To change to find star tiles, but less explorer. Sig Sigridur the Bulls. A high risk, high reward mentality clan. Thinking little of the future, they spend for now and live in the moment. 
and doing so have mastered their own strategy for survival. Plus one per harvest from home, minus five at the start of every settlement, is literally the opposite of the one. Unlock after completing seven sagas? Oh, I cannot even take these guys. I was about to comment, I cannot, I cannot understand what's being said here, I have no idea. And then I would say, but they provide that one, that neutral one for you to learn and get used to it. But the way you do, do not understand shit is very hard. Thor, the mountaineers. While most find traversing the highlands to be a costly and exhausting experience, that is where this clan feels most at home. Near the ocean, however, they are far less capable. Exploration. Harvest from fishermen. From fishermen. From home. The other kind of harvest is different. It's from pasture. So they are different, actually. This is pasture. What is harvest from home, man? Can harvest from home? What home? The houses? The homes? Or what? Or some town center. <laughs> and these are from fishermen. Mountaineers. They can explore well, but they suck at fish. Halvadur. The seafarers. So I to live by the sea, they are already hauling in the cash before they have built anything. They prefer to stay close to the sea and far from the mountains. They are the opposite of the previous one. Fishermen already built. Minus one harvest from hunter. There are several kinds of harvest, but the characteristics of each clan are very repetitive. Raudur, the cartographers. When it comes to mapping the world around them, no clan can hold a candle to this one. Always looking outwards, they have a tendency to put less effort into their home. Tiles around the room, tiles around the home, tiles are already explored. Take longer to upgrade and come with some tiles. That seems like the shittiest one so far. Avandur, Avangur, the nomads. A unique clan who gains health from exploring rather than exhausting the reserves. Unsurprisingly, construction of builds is not the strength. Gain half from exploring that tile? Do not you explore them all the time? That seems good. But minus one perhaps half from our production buildings. Holy shit. Unlocked of completing Hagala's one. Valtiofur, the pale. Not a robust has most. Not as robust has most. But their lack of physicality is more than made up for their intellect. This is most evident in the incredible craftsmanship of the buildings. Plus one per harvest from our productions. Plus three winters two. Then Agalas three. Haroskel, the weather world. Legendary for the hardness and resolve. They are known as the toughest of all clowns. They are slow and careful builders, but very resilient to the bite of winter. Minus 5 winters too, plus 1 construction cost. You have to finish the game on the highest difficulty in order to unlock this shit. The only ones that I can make are these 3 actually. I need to complete one saga for this one. So I can get at the start of every settlement and lose from pasture. I can lose one explorer and gain some heart, but I have no idea what it is. And I can go with the steady. Ingo for what is this? Yeah, I'm going with this one. This is Iceland. Choose a region to settle. To complete the saga, settle all six regions. Each region has a unique landmark to find. Once discovered, it will grant a powerful effect for the rest of this saga. Landmark discovery saga effects minus one exploration cost. So I have to select a region now. I have to take six of them. A dramatic peninsula featuring the striking rounded spire of Kurgefell. 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 Kirk. Kirkjefell. Highland and grassland are here, but there is no shortage of woodland and wetland. Region difficulty. Primary biome. Landmark discovery minus one exploration cost. 
Sutherland, an area of volcanic activity, Sutter, featuring Haukaladur, the geyser that gave all the geysers their name. <laughs> More woodland and wetland, less highland and grassland. This is quite like the Faxafold. Faxaflod. It is a land of woodland and wetland. But it's bad on highlands and grassland. They have the same difficulty. But one is main wood, the other is main wet. Exploration cost, construction cost. Hora Fajadur. Black sand beach is dotted with shimmering chunks of ice that flow from the glacial lagoon Jokul Sarlon. Grassland and wetland are here, but glaciers are numerous. Region difficulty maximum. Prima bi biome glaciers. <laughs> Winters 2 minus 1. Austerland. A jagged coastline of fjords. Fjords. And waterfalls fetching, fetching a steep ravine of striking basaltic columns no has is to the light. A little of each terrain type can be found here. Primary biome grassland. Half the fifty. Skia. Skia. Fundi. Base teeming with life flowing through fjords and canyons. The greatest being Jokusar. Glufur. Less grasslands to be found, but woodland and highland are a beauty. Primal biome, see. Up the fig. The font is Fjordur. The majestic Hippity Circur. Hivit Circur. Gods, a coast of moody flats that rise into rocky mountains. Wetland and highlands are abundant, but woodland and grassland are scarce. Primal Biome Highlands. Finally, some Highlands. Difficulty Maximum. And this is the other one. I have to go quest them all. There are only six. I'm going with the, the wetland or the woodland. I'm going with the woodland. I want to cut some wood. I have no idea what is happening now. The game is going to teach me how to play. The clan finally arrived at the shores of their new home. With his spirit is raised as they witness the lushy forest is sprawling inland. As they pull their boats onto the beach, a loud sound in the distance accompanied by a jet of water shooting a watch catch catches their attention. This land seems full of riches and mysteries to explore. Surrounded by trees, they had the resources to start and grow their new home. Now the land must be explored and buildings raised to build the heart and establish a settlement that can stand the test of time. This shows current heart, maximum heart. It is used to explore, build and survive winter. This bar represents one year. Each segment represents one month. Time passes automatically. Harvests are when heart is produced. This shows when the next harvest will happen and how much half will be gained. This is the home tile. Complete this settlement by upgrading it five times from an encampment to a great hall. This tile is already explored and ready to be built on. Click on it to open the build menu. Production Fisherman. Place for the humble fisherman to more and clean the day's catch, a critical site for any sea-based claim. Buildable on sea. One per harvest, one bonus per empty adjacent sea. Current harvest one. This is a production building which yields hearts on every harvest. Most buildings can be built only once in a settlement, but they can be salvaged and rebuilt elsewhere. One, one building type per settlement. That, that's very weird, very weird. There are very limited number of buildings, I have to place them well. This thing has to be placed adjacent to the sea. Interesting. This tutorial is very tiring, it's very annoying. I wish they had 
some better design and actually just to start the game and teach me as I go every few moves. But but it's okay. I'm patient today. Build? Are you forcing me to build this shit? I have no fucking choice. Ah. The styles need to be explored before it can be built on. Exploring costs more heart and time the farther a tile is from the home tile. Click to explore it. No. Do not force me. Yeah, I can just click on the other side and ignore it. <laughs> when I or did I explore it? I do not know. Did I build it? I'm not sure. When I explore these unique tiles will reveal a curiosity or the region's landmark. Both of which grant powerful bonuses. This button pauses time. Time is automatically paused in menus. When you're ready, press this button to unpause and begin. Did I explore it? Did I build it? Why is time automatic, man? That's very confusing. I thought this was in turns, like I explore a tile, I do some shit and shit happens. I had zero, I had five a moment ago. So I have to gather resources and get this shit to level 5 and find the landmark, then I win. This is a mysterious tile with some magic in it. See fishing? See? Oh, it's because I built one of these. And then I explore. I had five, four here and one here. The time has it goes by itself. And I can make it faster, but how can I pause it? This is a quality tile. Production buildings on this we yield one more heart per harvest. But some heart should be saved because at the end of each year, a random amount of heart in this range will be lost to winters too. It increases every year, along with your growing settlement. Pick here for a detailed breakdown. Exploring requires explorers, and building requires builders. This shows how many of each are available at the moment. 3 and 0? I only see 2. I see 1, how is that 0? I'm poor. There's a quality grassland. I can make a pasture. I can make a queen. I can make a scully. A tanner. A healer. A law speaker. A cachet. Cachet. A well prepared clan has many supplies. Stash is hidden. A stash. A cash. 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 The more built, the easier it will be. Sacred Hallowed Meadow, a sacred place where the spirit of the land can be felt. No violence against animals or people may be committed here. Sacred Goti, a religious and political leader who speaks for the gods. The Goti is the spiritual heart of the clan. So, there are utility buildings, there are sacred buildings, and there are production buildings. These Take no bonus from the quality, only the production. Which, but okay, I have to build one of these when I have the people and resources available. I will have four hearts, but then I have to wait for a winter to pass. Do not kill me. Oh, I'll gain two at once. Okay then. Expensive. I have to wait a long time. I can pause with the space bar and I can use tab to go faster. It goes all the way to 3, but the 1, 2, 3 button do not. Winter is coming. Save enough heart to pay its 2. I have 4, I win plus 2. The 
maximum speed is kind of slow. Not much. Oh, we got four at once. Oh shit. Now I have some choices to make. Where is the upgrade of this shit? I cannot upgrade it. I have to explore. I cannot upgrade my buildings. One per harvest plus one per building on tiles. One. One bonus per distance. I have to find some sea tiles. I do not know the, the thing. Two and two. I can explore. One and one. One and one. I can explore seven of them. Explorers views have two. Why is, what's this three over here? Winter. Now winter two demands ha. If it cannot be met, the settlement will fail. A powerful staff of protection called Vague Vizier can be used at once to reduce the row to this year's minimum. Now, it will fail if I do not meet the hearts. I thought someone would just die, but I lose if I do not meet some minimum. Are there some attacks? Do my building fails because I have some crazy production? But winters will get harsher and harsher. I have to accompany that. I do not think there is combat on this game. Grassland. This is grassland pasture. I cannot build another one. True, very true. Holy shit, it's growing fast. Look at this winter, man. Damn. I need to make some utility. This will increase my harvest by two, and this will reduce my losses by two. But the harvest I get like four times per year, and the loss is only once per year. Beneficial effect duration, I have never, never seen one of these. Find encounters, there are encounters. Get some maximum. This is good. Kind of expensive, but it takes more than one year to build, or is this a moment? Less exploration time to build it eventually. My zoom per harvest from home. This is very good and sweat cheap, it just take a shitty ton of time. Eleven. I'll make this one with four. I'm about to get four. It has a star on it, man, but I have never nothing better to put on. There is a fucking death over here. What is this shit? Breaking loss, tragic within that clan. A small group of exploring the coast had their boat tossed against the rocks. There were no survivors. Their presence will be deeply missed, and their workload must be shared among the remaining members. I can lose five per six harvest. Six times one, two, three, four, five, six. You kill me. Is there winter too forever? Okay, too expensive. Exploring is too expensive. I need this too. Oh. Highlands. It has a star. Again, the star is so common. I can make a hunter on the, the highlands. That is why the CX-4 in high was bad at hunt. I see now. 
these other things I can build anywhere? Oh, there's here information. Even on a fucking glacier, I can build my cache. It's the only thing that I can build on a glacier. <laughs> oh, this is different. Secret seer. Harvest from home again. Review location of the landmark. That's a, a nice thing to it. This is unique. Pudding chain, providence, saga effect, start settlement with a homestead in gold. This is a woodland, this is a woodland. I can make a woodcutter. Produces also hats, man. Everyone produces hats. There is no wood, there are no resources. The only resources are hats. Okay. One bonus per adjacent in the woodland, that's cool. Cast this. Oh, man. Do I, do I get one? It improves my production. And kill me. <laughs> I will be left with one and I'll produce it four. And I'll produce it more because of this one. I will win. It's safe, it's safe. Believe it. Yeah, I produce four, five, which is bad. But I now produce six. I'm safe. I can only salvage things. I do not need to worry about upgrading. Just need to worry about placing them in the best location. I have found some curiosity. Settlement effect plus one explorer. I need to move these things to some better place. Hallowed groove. Go to our red head. Carpeting, it can only be built here. Minus two construction cost, that's very valuable. And the earlier I build it, the better. I'm not sure I need to explore. What is that the exploring bonus thing? There was some bonus to exploring. What was it here? Holy shit. Seven to ten. Shit is brutal. I have a bunch already. I need to complete these things in order to win. I need to diminish that winter too. It's heavy. I can increase the harvest of all adjacent buildings, but I do not have enough adjacent buildings to take advantage of that. I need to make them adjacent, like I need to find a woodland here and build it here. Oh, it's a curious, I cannot build it here. I want to fucking explore. I'm going to lose. <laughs> Requires a start on the title. The title. This is the most advantageous one because a forest or a sea will give me some bonus.
to see, man. This thing is great now. Producing eight. And I have some wetland. A wetland has a pit farm. It's the unique building. Got a adjacent wetland. It's pasture. A adjacent grassland. Everyone gets one bonus per adjacent tile of the same type. Okay, I need to have 10 to resist the winter. Holy shit, this is hot. The sacred bog. Takes four. Increase my, my production capacity. Plus eight, I'll have ten, but I have some more over here. I have to explore. I have eight and I have nine to get. So I can use all but one. And I have been so much that my capacity cannot handle it. Why cannot I build it? 6 and 12? I have that time. There is a hunter. I could have made a hunter here and I forgot about a stupid hunter. Man. Fuck me that. Someone's going to fucking die. Lady Thor. Winter seems to have a fierce grip on the land this year. Looks like the growing season might be delayed. Effect for 12. First harvest of the year produces nothing. I increase the fucking two. Oh shit. I have 14. My production increases as I discover the grassland. There's a special effect on the grassland. I can build a cache on it. And then die. <laughs> Already built. I need a ton. That's that's what I want. But it's too fucking expensive. I cannot build it here because I Exploration is expensive. Two and two. Three. Three. I need some better woodland. Zero. I'll pause before the first harvest of the year and have to expand some exploration points. More wood. This is more productive than this one. But I would like a star. Explorers. I have too many things. I have to expend my money or I'm going to lose it. But if I salvage now, I'm going to lose some money anyway. I 
I will lose just one. Efficiency ski. Oh, I have to unbuild it first, man. That's so annoying. I have two now. This is a little more worth it. Shit is intensive. It takes too long to explore over there. I have two little katas. I have to improve my shit. Oh, improvements. Some keras land with a star. Fifteen. Shit is intensive. <laughs> it costs sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> this is growing so quickly. I'm getting scared. I need some some utility queen of this shit. This is too good. Like requires homestead. Oh, I need to evolve fast and then I can reduce winter. I see. I understand it now. And I have to expand all my my money. And I do not have enough people to expend all this money. Unless I make a cache, I can expend it all with a cache. That's true. But then I will expend it all. Building closer, like faster, does not matter. He builds on a fucking glacier, and that goes on my money. If I get 16, I die. And there is a, a shit more time, more cost. The cost is it's better to pay. Fifteen out of fifteen. That's what I, I got. Home is that is upgraded. Choosy mastery forestry. Wood cutters can be built twice. Perfect site. Two from bonus tiles for pity farm. I do not know how the pity situation is going. Hunting grounds. Hunter can be building twice. Twice, twice of this one. I want to see my my configuration. Forestry. I'm taking forestry. Hunters are, are really bad right now. So far away. I'm the JC, I didn't need a farmstead anyway. Interest. Construction cost. Sell weapon, it's so expensive. of Nifheim plus one exploration cost. Curiosity. Woodcut is gonna build it twice. Damn shit is intensive.
16. Some dead is a plus 16. Shit is intensive. I do not know what to do. Plus one harvest. Minus one death. Harvest will affect me very soon. I can build as many as I want. No, that's a shit idea. That might be a, a thing nearby. Oh, it takes too long. Oh, I found another one. This one is good. Oh, this one has a star, man. <laughs> I have too much parts. I have to expand more. I have to expand. Plus 15 maximum. Plus 20, though. I got 17. It's going to go so hard. Effects plus 2. That's my basic effects. Home of great plus 4. Buildings plus 4. Tiles explored plus 10. This year plus 5. Exploring titles fucks me up. Makes things worse. And the year only increases by 1. And the tiles explored are the main source of my troubles. Construction cannot be started. Five, six times of constructing. I need to construct. Can I upgrade? No. Probably not. Leadership challenge. There has been humbling of this pleasure in the client leadership for a little while, but only now has it come to a head. No decisions about the settlement can be made until this is resolved. I'm going to not construct and just explore. I have to expand the only enough. I only have two, I have three explorers. I have three explorers and I have to expand like 17. Can I explore far away? Nope. The most expensive place I can go only costs four, but four plus four plus four is 16. Is exactly enough if I go four? Nope. I did not. Four, four, and there is I lose 4, 4, and 4. It's 8. It's only 12, not 16. I do not know how to count, motherfucking me. Ouch. It's not so bad. Let's see there in the pot say Damn it is. That's a very wild range. Wide. Improves to a great fall. And that's about eight.
best wing that it do. I need that shit. In the forest. With a star. I already have one here. Less cost for everything in the future. Actually. I can build as many cache as I want. Okay. I need some strategy now. I gain too much. I could gain some more, I will not complain. It's only the Mrs. Truman. It's even even worth it. Mid hall, I need a mid hall anyway. Mid hall. What the fuck is this? It's a glacier. Looks nothing like a glacier. It's like a mountain glacier, not a sea one. You can only build on it to catch shell it. There's nothing in here. I can do this first one to follow home. That's true, this is true. Same shit. This takes a lot longer to build. This would be more useful immediately. Build both actually. I have no builders anymore. One Vesagur omens scouting plus one explorer breeding. Pasture can be built twice. My pasture is not so good, I have not many places to build a pasture. <laughs> I do not want the Vesigir, I have not used it yet. I might need to use it, but... Like scouting and breeding. This would be actively beneficial. Breeding will increase my production so good, man. I just need to find a fucking place to put that breeder. I need to find a new pasture. There is a pasture here with a star. I need to find nearby passes to it for it to be worth it. I mean, it's very cheap. It pays itself very quickly. I can expand up to 10. I have to leave 10. I can expand 6. They do not know what to, what to be that shit. That is that. I'm, I'm, I'm wild. To get to, up to 26 now. A river runs through it. These cities are always bad, man. Why? Heavy hangs are not uncommon, but this last storm brought a torrent of water through the settlement. While nothing was damaged, the water has covered up the area around many of the buildings which we need to repair. Upgrade cannot be started. Upgrade time. I do not need any upgrade though. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, good. Weedy shit is happening. Curiosity discovered, settlement effect, plus 10 chance to find tiles. There is another weird shit over here. 
There is another one here. Interesting. I cannot spend, I have to wait now. And I need like I need to be the seer. Where is that seer guy? Oh here it is. To review the landmark. Besides the usual improvement. Can make it here or I can make it on a bog. It's just sanded tiles. Here would be the best place to build it. Where is my... Oh, here is my... If I build it here, it will affect this tree. If I build here, it will affect this tree. If I build it here, it will affect this tree. I cannot build it here though. Damn, this shit is hard. I have to just wait for now, though. <laughs> this is broken, me. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Suppose I have to explore and find this shit. There's no reason to explore further to get my shitty more expensive. Cannot produce explorers or people I just find on the wild. <laughs> Why did I gain some explorer? Oh, this shit. So sad, man. Game is not liking me. Explore that. I suppose I can explore down here. Growth completed. Hard growth. It's so expensive, I can get it soon. I mean, if I do not expend money, I get with too much money. That's my current situation. I have to expand. I build that shit, I'll get only two. That's so bad. So freaking bad. Nothing I can do, I suppose. Just have to put one here and call it a day. How could a climate as wet as this go through such an extended dry spell? Drought. All vegetation is suffering and dying, but there is nothing that can be done. Effect for 12. Minus 1 for wood water and pasture. Effect for 3. Minus 3 for wood culture and pasture. Now, 12 minus 1 only means. Now, if each gave one, I do not know the map. <laughs> it will affect once, and it will take six. That's about it. This one will affect like one or twice. It will do the same damage. Just get it over with. Eleven. That's so sad. Wait, I have too much. But only a, a little bit too much. Some shit happened. Which? That's a, a pasture. That's a sterile pasture. 
and it has a pasture near it. It's better than this one. I can destroy this shit. There is nothing good nearby. I can cancel this thing then, because I, I have a new pasture that I need to, to focus on. Except there is nothing better nearby. Fucking hell. Curious polar bear, a great white bear entered the village today, shocking everyone. The hunters quickly gathered and the bear met a quick end. There will be no such of meat anytime soon. Game. What? Okay. I can expand like five. Only five. The builders are busy. Spend for now. I'm full. Some shit I can build. I have to wait for a week. Not good, not bad. Kind of bad, but I accept my fate. Year 8, man. Stakes are high. Not enough hearts. I can build it. Two fishermen, if I make a shipy builder, I can make a wharf after winter. Kind of a very poor. Just stays there and do threatened with too much productivity. Medicinal hops, a patch of wild thyme, middle sweet, and angelica is found and harvested to treat the clan's ailments. Some immediate effect. It's nothing unique on the highlands. I have built the unique of the forest. I've built the healer. There is the last speaker left. That's all. Oh, hollow beetle. Oh, we can build one. Six. So sharp. Okay, that's about it. Except I have to explode. Oh, there's something here. The seer. The seer told me. Where the other thing is. I have too much again. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot expand because the expenditure is too much. I have to expand just a little. I have to expand a bunch. I need 20 open. I have to expand 10. On the very least. Damn. There is nothing for me to expand 10 points at all. Unless I make one of those. Or one of these.
It's almost right if I expand more, it's too much. Of course, I can just explore. Cost is three. Hunters are bringing back a similar number of prey, the animal appears emaciated and yet substantially less meat. Despite invoking Wood's aid, the prayers remain unanswered. This is a test effect for nine. Hunter does not harvest any for nine. Immediately lose it then. I only have one hunter. And it's a piece of shit that is not near any place. So I guess any is much better. I lost two. Yeah. Not that big of a deal. I might die. <laughs> Except I got a bunny for half us now. What luck! I managed to stop at a small lake for water, only to discover it was premium with brown trout. Trout. An unexpected feast of fish. I even lost one. And it stopped the right way. 19 minutes. Oh man, it could be 20, 20, 41, 20 maximum. I feel like using this shit, but I, I keep it. I'll have three. Slow but consistent eruption has darkened the skies, but this does not seem to be directly harmful, not seem to be growing as well as it should. First, the harvest of the year produces not. Oh, increase the fucking tool. First, the harvest, man. That's too heavy. I got to increase the fucking winter again. That accumulates over time. <laughs> My year is not enough to do shit. I'm not stupid it out. Is that you? I have too much, I have to expend some. Fisherman, yeah, fisherman gets a bonus. Do I need some more holy place? Where is that information, man? That is like this cool information about the things that I have already. Settlement effects. I need a bog one. I need a bog with a star. Hallowed, hallowed here. There's a hallowed forest. There is no hallowed of this thing, but apparently there is no hallowed thing in the sea. But I need a hallowed wetland. I need to expand a shitty ton just to keep it in shape. Explores are all busy, I can build shit, but there is nothing to build. My god. 
Some, but that's it. Then I have to wait for fucking winter. Eat me. One per five left. I get lucky. I might die. I mean, like, you don't have enough space to even deal with the highest heat in winter that can come. I'm low, motherfucker. Yeah, that's that's not that's the minimum. That's very good. And I got three for the waft. Heavy, heavy metal. We create this shit. I need some space. Minus ten detrimental effect duration. Curiosity. Achievement unlocked. The discovery. Find a landmark. An explosion of steam bursting from the land with great heat and fury. A humbling display of the power of nature. How the lure, how can the lure gazer. Saga effect, minus one construction costs. Okay, I have six left. Exploring is all I can do, basically. I cannot construct, there is not enough motherfucking to construct any shit. Like, I mean, there is nothing less left to construct. Exploring is expensive. Why did I explore this place? I cannot build anything else in the sea anyway. I was done. The only cost is more to my life. An expensive fight. Two hot-headed members of the clan got drunk and heated. They yelled, turning to fist cuffs, and in the chaos, a fire was spread to building they were in. To building they were to the building they were in. Okay, was supposed to have. To the building they were. In. They were supposed to have an article. No one was hurt, but it was a costly scrap. Destroys a random building or loses time. Stick my time. Most buildings cost less than that, but okay. Curiosity, settlement effect, minus one exploration costs. That's, that's very good. Awesome. Choose a mastery. Food preservation. Maximum food from caches is doubled. Land rotation. Tiles are counted twice. Star tiles are counted twice. Has a adjacent bonus. Extra food. Woody cutters count. Wetland has bonus title. There are no wetlands near my woodcutters. I have no good tiles for that effect and so food preservation it is not affecting my shit though I need 5 5 for the next copy grade if I need to expend money I use my cashier otherwise I'm just going to watch I'm running on it's good. I can make caches. That's the only shit I can make. And the woodland hallowed bog. I need the hallowed bog. And I can make a smithy only on the woodland. They harvest from our production buildings. My zone. Per plus one per harvest from our production buildings. Not nearby. In the world. The industrial heart of any settlement. The blacksmith provides a considerable boost to all production. To all means of production. Okay then, awesome. I might die now, but that was awesome. I might die. I have to use my Vengeance gear now. That was dumb. Oh, thank you. It was massive for you. That was very massive for you. Achievement unlocked. The fat of the land. Rigid. 35 production per harvest. I got 32. 61. Degrade my freaking home. Let's just go. It's nothing else for me to do. <laughs> I need some wetlands though. I have too much. 
I need to have like I have to expand four. Twenty eight. I need to expand four. But there is some evil effect. Let's see what it does. Shoddy craftsmanship. After revealing some of the recently constructed buildings, it was a time there was some shoddy work done. For the next while, the clan will be exceptionally meticulous during construction to avoid further mistake. Construction time or construction cost? Cost is much better because I will not even construct anything anyway. If I need to construct, I better construct it fast before winter. 91. Okay, I can support it now. And I can get an upgrade. Choose mastery. Centralization. One plus one per harvest from the home tile for each adjacent utility building. Petty stack. Petty farms count. Grassland has bonus tile. There is a grassland over there, but that's just one that's done. Pony arrows. Two hearts from bonus tiles for hunters. I do not have any bonus tile for the hunter. I do not have much adjacent building to my shit. It's the best one I can do. Don't improve it one. Fucking me dead. Let's just go. 71. Pretty nice. I'm alive. I'm well. I'm getting a bonus from this surplus hat that I have. Not much, but it's something. I need 80 now to make a great haul. Do I win the game if I make a great haul? I will get 80 right next. And I will survive it to the next two ones. I won the game. Heavy rain. The sky has opened to release endless rain. Everything is soaked. The soil has been churned into thick mud. And the rivers appear where none existed before. Effective for 6 turns. Exploration cannot be started. Or I lose 5 immediately. I do not care about exploration anymore. And I'm upgrading. I have 7. But I have 2 harvests to come. That will be very productive. And everything will go well in my life. <laughs> Region settled. The winter did not even come and I won. It took us... It took 141 time it turns lapses. Achievement unlocked. Foundation. Complete a settlement. One out of six settlement in 11 winter, winters and nine moons. How the Halur geyser. Minus one construction cost. Forever on. Zero perished clans. Onward. Saga effects. Minus one construction cost. I can now select another clan. And I need to complete the entire saga before I unlock new plans. I can, I can use the same, or I can now understand. I have a maximum here, but minus one explorer, man. That's too heavy of a penalty. Explorers are really good and hard to find. While the maximum I can increase any fucking time. If it is getting close to the maximum, I can just expand it more and expand the maximum. Plus five at the start of every settlement. The set of every settlement, do they mean like the next settlement on the saga? Or the just five? And minus one they harvest from pasture? Forever? The entire game? That's like so fucking awful. But the game is, is too stressing. I mean, I can play on a different location now, but I have seen the maps. The locations only change the frequency that I will find those maps. This was supposed to be a map full of bugs, but they are pretty rare. I cannot choose the region. I can choose the same region? That does not make any sense. <laughs> there are only six things I have to conquer the entire land. And I can use the same clan or other ones. Why don't you leave me? Just let me leave. Oh, I can leave now. Progression. Zero, zero saga completed. Clans unlocked. Zero out of ten. Around ten? Take so much time reading them. 
3 out of 15 achievements. Foundation, complete a settlement. Discovery, find a landmark. A saga for the ages, complete a saga. Iron Man, complete a settlement without manually pausing. Oh, interesting. Not a fan of the code. Complete a settlement before the 70th winter. I took 11, I think. Architectural minimalist. Complete a settlement with a maximum of 5 buildings. How in the name of hell? It's a small world after all. Complete a settlement exploring a maximum of 10 tiles. I mean, tiles cost is extremely to maintain. If I find some good tiles at the beginning with some nice bonus, I can build one of each thing and just patiently take it on with milder winters without, without exploring. This can be done and this can be done together with the architectural minimalist. These two go hand in hand. Aim for the long haul, survive one settlement for 25 winters. That can probably be done with these two because the winters will be more, much more mild. The time, the length of the game will cost is more than the exploration. Over the hill and far away, explore a tile 15 tiles away from home tile. Fat of the land, reach 25 production per harvest. I went way above it. Enlightenment, complete the providence chain. I I lacked one thing. I lacked one. The fucking bog did not come with a staff on which you completed. Stubborn. Complete a whole saga with a single plan. That's what I'm, I was going to do if I want to play anymore. Speedrunner. Complete a saga in less than 40 winters. To the corners of the world. Find all landmarks in one saga. That's interesting. With that seer, should not be hard. Pain is my friend. Complete a saga with all Hagalas runes enabled. Difficulty is mastered. Hagalas 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Bro, new sub here, bro. Some people talk to me, but like, I'm. I was playing the game in full screen, I could not see the chat. And this was it for the game. Just, just very stressing. The game gets really intensive. And it's kind of interesting. The lack of actual resources like to build things is kind of frustrating. The game is also very general. There is this leaking atmosphere and some design, but there is not like big in ship, there is no combat, there is no actual sea exploration in those cool dragon-headed nah ships there is not wood to build fucking ships or anything there is not stone there is just hearts it's really weird so it's too simplistic in my opinion exploring is too punitive you get punished for exploring the fucking map which is really weird you also get a bunch of annoying random effects non-stop. And if I was going to play more, it would be a repetition of what I just did. Time and time again. I suppose I did not play more, I just played one thing. But I could see there was nothing more to the game. So I do not feel like repeating that experience time after time. Doing it once was quite nice. It was quite short, one hour of gameplay. But... I do not like, feel like repeating that six times. There was something unique about the locations, but as you could see, it's just the frequency of the tiles that change. And that's about it. The hunters, like, they get hot. The woodcutter, they get hot. The pastor and the, the sheep and the bog, they get hot. There is no cool wolf hunting or something to manage. I think I have another game here. It's called... Something Guard. I think it had something to explore like these, like tiles. It's like... It's 
something guard. And with a guard. He have work in something. North guard here. He appeared. Oh, it's not this one. It's this one. Just release it. 2008. No, this is not the one. Or is it the one? It's the one. It's looking so different. But if you if you see this not guard, that is there are these places, and you build your area of influence like conquering new tiles, and there is actual combat and attack tree, and much things to explore. It's much more dynamic, you see. This also was not in turn, I do not understand you very much why. Like, there should be a building turn and a harvest and a building turn. And that should be it for this game. But there was this silly tiny base mechanics. It's nice for that achievement to not pause, but overall, it doesn't make much sense. And this is much more different. You actually get to choose the resource to be cheap and a bunch of things much more complex and it's what I expected actually but this was it for the playtest of how is it called land is something Yururu, what the fuck is the name of this thing let me see here land, land in nama land nama here that was it not bad. Yes, does not have any replayability value.